Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this weird and wonderful AI art channel. In this video, I want to show you how you can hallucinate using Midjourney and get it to create some unique images. This is a technique that I put up on my blog, but I thought I'd show that showcase it in a video as well. And this is this article here. I'll link in the description. Uh, but the original post was by Maneki Neku. Um, this person had shared this technique which is to use Midjourney and a couple of input images to get it to hallucinate and create some cool, unique looking images. So on the blog, you'll find a lot of these samples that I've created using this technique, including the whole process, which is documented with screenshots. In this video, I'm going to take you through and showcase, and we're actually going to create a few images so you'll get a feel for how this works. I'm going to use a couple of images that are here. I'm going to pick them and we're going to use them as kind of input images to get it to hallucinate. So I like this one. This one's quite unique. So we'll use that. And this one of these flowers. And we're going to blend these two and see what we end up with. Normally you'd get a preview, but um, I'm not seeing the preview here. However, when I click on it, it is showing me that it selected the image. So I think that's maybe just a glitch but we'll work through it. So the prompt you want, and, and that's what was indicated in the blog post as well by Manikiniko, that um, the prompt that you use is essentially to ask it to do more, right? Um, so what we're going to do is simply add, add more multiple times in the prompt. So here I'm going to say that and more and more and more three times. Um, and then I want the image in this proportion. So two by three, I want a tall image. So hit enter, and then you'll see in the create tab here, we have the images being created. So let's go there. Um, and now you can see the preview. See, those are the two images that we selected and it's gonna start generating that. And there you go. It's kind of mixed the two together and tried to do more with it, right? Uh, you can see the blending of the, the person's face and the flowers that you had. And the color scheme is a little bit on the yellow side, emphasized by one of those images. And it's starting to create something interesting. So what we can do then is you can select the image, one of the images that you've got. You can either uh, vary it strong or very subtle. Um, I want to vary this one strong and see what it produces. And let's go back to this one as well. And here it looks interesting. So I'm going to go very subtle. Um, and we will have some more images that are being generated. While this is happening, let's go back and explore a few more images. Um, let's use this one. I think I like the uh, abstract look of this. So let's use that here. And then try and blend this and oh, okay, this let's see the what these two will produce, right? So we select this image and this one and well, this time I'm going to change it up a bit. So and more and more and more, but I'm also going to add a weight there. So I'm going to strengthen this prompt um, and then highly detailed and textured also right so you can add more to it aspect ratio again two by three but we're going to stylize it so i'm going to use the stylize argument and i want it to be high strength so 500 so hit enter and now it's going to start creating those images as we wait for that to happen we can see the previous generations are done um, i particularly liking some of these i think this one's starting to look pretty cool uh, and this one here got a lot of detail and texture in here so let's see what it will produce if we do an upscale and let's do a highly detailed creative upscale on this one and I think I like this one the best so let's do a creative upscale on this one and here you go so the mixture of those two images plus the prompt of add more is getting mid journey to kind of hallucinate based on what it sees and understands of those two images and create something uh, unique out of it. It's it's kind of mid journey doesn't know what to do. So having the and more means it's trying to do more of what it sees there. 
which is pretty cool and I got some really good results with it so far and I've had a lot of fun creating some cool images out of uh, this technique. Let me show you what I've created before. In the archives, I have a folder which is designated for this. So you can see this is a filter and again, I will do another video on this on uh, the new interface of the alpha website which will become obviously the main website, but you can see some cool results here, really like this kind of illustrative surreal look of this image. Um, these are pretty cool as well, like this, happy with that one. Um, these, I used some of my own images created in stable diffusion and adding those images and using the and more to generate that. So it takes elements from this and kind of mixes and hallucinates on top of those. Um, some others here, you can see these are pretty cool as well. Uh, some other cool results which I posted. Again, just using one image in this case. So this was created using this image, which we can see it's an abstract color oil um, painting. And using this, I've been able to get it to hallucinate kind of this face out of that, which is quite unique and fun. Uh, here's some of the other samples that you'll also find on the website in the blog post. But um, as you can see, you can start to create some really cool stuff by using this technique of hallucination using mid journey. So let's have a look at those upscales. They should have a lot more detail now. There we go highly detailed uh, result and pretty happy with what it produced. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Just wanted to quickly show you how you can use this hallucinating technique that I've discovered um, and create some really cool, unique images using mid journey. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more videos. And if you want to do more, you can head over to my coffee page and buy, buy me a coffee or become a member. So there I have created two membership levels and you can explore what they include. So if you'd like to support me, head over to this uh, coffee page link in the description and either make us one time donation or become a member for some exclusive content. Thanks again for watching this guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.